Sup guys, Crystals here. So today I finally decided to give in and head into the city center and pick up this brand new 2021 iPad Pro plus the accessories. And while some may say that the 1,247 pound price tag is a little bit overkill for a small tablet, for me, this is going to be a complete game changer. And in today's video, I'm going to essentially share with you how I got all of this for free. Well, Kind of. All right, so let's kick things off with some quick facts about all of this before we get into the nitty gritty stuff. Now, first up, what we have is the iPad Pro. Um, it's a 256 gigabyte model. I decided to upgrade from the 128 model for reasons I'm going to talk about in, uh, in a little bit. It is the space gray version of the iPad and it cost me 849 pounds. From there, what we have is this massive, um, gen um, what's it called, the new generation Magic Keyboard, which comes in at a whopping price of £279, which in my opinion, I think is just so steep for a keyboard, but we'll get into its benefits in a second. And then finally, we have on top the Apple Magic Pencil, which is obviously gonna be used to take notes and do drawing and, and, and all of that good stuff. But basically, when you total everything together, it comes to a whopping total of £1,247. Oh, and by the way, this is just the 11 11 inch model. I didn't decide to upgrade to the bigger version. Um, so that one would have been even more expensive, but Regardless, I think it's quite a lot of money for an iPad. In terms of my plans for the iPad's main purposes, for those that don't know, I currently run an online e-commerce business that basically sells products on eBay and Amazon. And the iMac that I currently have in my reselling unit is number one, way too big. It's like 28 inches. And then number two, well, it's definitely seen its better days, let's put it that way. So. I thought getting an iPad as a replacement would be the perfect solution simply because of how portable it is and how obviously fast it's going to be with the new M1 chip. Its use cases doesn't stop there. From here, I will be able to also do photo editing for thumbnails and graphics for this YouTube channel alongside using the improved camera to take my coaching sessions literally wherever I want to. But all of that is not why we're here today. We are here to talk about how I essentially got this 1200 pound tablet for free and there's actually multiple layers to this. So let's break that down. Okay, so let's first up talk about the two options in terms of the stores that I could have actually purchased this iPad from. Now, first up, we have of course the most obvious choice which is going to be the Apple store itself. However, just five minutes down the road, we actually have a John Lewis who are actually currently offering a 0% interest fee financing option on any Apple products. Now, this is a big game changer because basically at the moment, Apple are currently offering a 14% interest on any iPads that they uh, they sell if someone wants to pay for it monthly. I believe the only product that they currently offer 0% is the iPhone. However, John Lewis actually offers 0% on the entire Apple range. Now, why is this so important? Well, instead of laying out that 1,247 pounds in one hit, I could now actually potentially split my payments across 36 six months at 34 pounds and 63 pence per month. Now, this is actually going to bring me to my first big saving. Now, as my initial payment will now only be 34 pounds, this now number one leaves me with a brand new iPad, of course, and number two leaves me with an extra 1200 pounds roughly to now actually put to work for me. Now, for those that were listening at the start of this video, you will know that one of my main businesses is buying and selling things on eBay and Amazon for a profit. And when I actually take a look at my average return on investment over the past 12 months, it's currently sitting at roughly 45%. Now, what this basically means is that if I was to spend that 1,200 pounds that I now have spare, because I'm not paying for the iPad upfront, on products to resell, I'm going to make an estimated 540 pounds extra in profit from this investment. Like I said, if I would have gone and paid for this iPad outright at the Apple store or something like that, I wouldn't have had that money to of course then put to work for me. But even if I was to go for the monthly payment at the Apple store, yes, I would still be making a little bit more money because at the end of the day, 45% return on my investment beats the 14% interest that I will be paying on the product, but it's not quite good as 0%. So that's my first saving. Now, the next saving is that because this iPad is going to be used purely for business use only, 
I'm actually going to be able to use this as a taxable business expense. And basically what I'm going to essentially save here over the course of three years of paying this iPad off is roughly 20% in tax savings, which is going to come to 249 pounds and 40 pence that I would have had to pay if I didn't use it as a tax write-off. Now, of course, this is a massive benefit to running a business because you are able to offset any kind of equipment that you use for your business against that business as an expense. And this is a really big tax saving in the long run. So if you do have a business and you do require computer equipment, then make sure you always put that as an expense. So having said that, with the savings of the 540 pounds from my first point and the savings of 249 pounds and 40 pence from point number two, we now have a total savings of 789 pounds and 40 pence. So when we deduct that from the original price of 1,247 pounds, we are now left with a potential cost of 457 pounds and 60 pence for this iPad. But it doesn't stop there. Next up, we have YouTube AdSense earnings. Now, this is likely going to be the only video that I do make on this iPad, but if we actually take a look on my YouTube channel and we take a look at an average video on my channel that earns roughly 30 pounds over the course of a year in AdSense, and if we were to then take that number and times that by three to represent the iPad payment time, this is going to be a further 90 pound in savings. Now, of course, this video could be a complete flop and earn me nowhere near that 90 pounds, or it could even be my best video yet and earn me thousands of pounds. Either way, just like the previous two points, this is all judged on potential savings. So I think taking an average figure here is fair. Which now brings me to the final potential savings point and the main reason I actually bought this iPad in the first place, and that is the time it is going to potentially save me. Now, like I mentioned at the start of the video, the iMac that I was using in my business unit has definitely seen its better days. It was a pain to do simple tasks like just browsing the web. It would randomly shut down when I would load up any application like photos shop and worst of all when I used to turn it on it used to literally take like five minutes to completely start up and my thought process is that replacing this with a ridiculously responsive iPad that I can simply just plonk down straight away and just get started I have taken a low ball estimate that over the course of a year this is going to save me roughly 12 hours so if we were to break this down and work out what 12 hours would cost me in terms of my time using the average sum of of my monthly income reports, which is a video I make on my YouTube channel. I'll throw it up there if you wanna check them out. It works out that my time is currently valued at around 35 pounds an hour. Now, if we take that and times it by 12, this is going to represent a further saving of 420 pounds. Good number, by the way. And of course, over those 12 months where I'm actually saving that time, I can actually use that time to be spent on more productive tasks that are gonna potentially make me even more money in the future. So when we break all of this down with the potential earnings of 540 pounds from leveraging the 0% interest loan, the 249 pounds and 40 pence in tax write-offs, the 90 pound in potential YouTube AdSense earnings from this video over three years, and then finally, the cost in time that I would save by using the iPad of 420 pounds, this comes to a total potential savings figure of 1,299 pounds and 40 pence, which when you compare it to the initial cost of the iPad plus accessories, it covers the entire amount and some change. Now, I'm hoping that if you have made it to this point of the video, you are really starting to see the point that I'm trying to portray. Now, of course, I'm not sitting here shouting, look at me, I've got a free iPad. We all know nothing is free at the end of the day. However, one thing that can be said is that if you take this approach, the next time you go to buy something where you simply sit there and work out the value that that item can actually bring you, you are actually going to start making much better financial decisions. Oh, and by the way, this doesn't have to be a monetary value in terms of return on investment. This could be simply a happiness value. For example, if you wanted to go ahead and buy yourself a new car and you worked out and you asked yourself, is this truly going to bring me happiness? Not going to make me look better. It's actually going to bring me happiness to myself over a course of time. Then that is another judge of return on investment as well. So all I'm just trying to say here and this video, of course, using this iPad as an example, ask the question, 
every time you go to buy something, what value does this item actually bring me? And I can guarantee you, you will start making better purchasing decisions. But having said that, if you did enjoy this video and you did find it valuable and it did give you a new perspective on the way that you approach buying things in the future, make sure you do drop this video a like down below. Also, go ahead and join my free investing Discord group. The link for that will be in the description down below as well. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.